when Eric Kerrigan from RBC came to the last meeting, he did explain to you guys that if you want to try to extend this GEO bond, that we would have to have a special election. That because of the proclamation dates and all of the timelines, it would have to be in March, April, sometime around there. But what the commission really needs to do is discuss what projects you would want to look at with this bond. Um, I know that it's been tossed around that this, the intent of this bond is to build a new county courthouse. I don't believe that that's even a possibility. Um, this bond, as Eric told you at the last meeting, is going to generate about 3.8 million in revenue, and that's not even enough to start a new county building. Um, there are a lot of things that I think we could do with that money. I think that, that just off the top of my head, I think that we need to purchase new software for the county, for all of the county offices to run off of. We've never been able to consider that because we've never been able to afford it. Um, we could do that. I think we could make some serious improvements to the fairgrounds property, the hog barn, the arena, all of that. I think that we could buy some equipment for the road department. Um, I know that we've talked about getting some new trucks so that we can haul material all the time now that we have a pit and we don't have reliable semis. I think we could buy a lot of equipment to get us moving. I think we could buy some ambulances. I think we could pay off some loans for the fire trucks that we have outstanding. I think there's a lot of projects we can we can accomplish with this money, but it's up to the commission whether or not you even want yeah. to move forward with this. Uh, on that topic, on that case, uh, uh, one, of, one of my concerns One of my concerns is the road department is sitting there in the middle of the town of East Nystrom. Right. When those people start those engines in the wintertime, it creates all kinds of smokes for the town of East Nystrom. Uh, I think the town of East Nystrom would applaud if we would uh, put something in there that we could make a building for them to be out of the city limits. We actually have property to do that, and we already have uh, quotes on, on building that they are. That's one of my concerns, the smoke during the wintertime that when this diesel start up here in the middle of the town. Uh, a lot of people uh, suffer from that smell of, of smoke. And, and there's people that probably shouldn't be smelling that smoke with an oxygen or some, some health reasons. Uh, we, we really need to concentrate on, on moving that out of, uh, out of the middle of the town of Estancia to a more uh, place where it's uh, less uh, drenching on people's. Uh, uh, we need clean air on being in the middle of town is, is pretty hard. And that's just one of my things of, that I like to We also, that. the discussion that we have had as the department has also is if we can move the road department out of there, then the sheriff can have that yard. And all of his vehicles and equipment can be locked Six in that yard and the shop may have a, a mechanic shop and everything else. So that would make several departments very happy. But, but those are all projects that, that we deal with a lot of them we can't even look at because we don't have the funding. But if if we did go for this bond, it would generate right. enough revenue we could accomplish a lot of that at once. But the question, as Eric explained to you, on the ballot has to be very project specific. Yeah. So I believe it can be multiple projects. It's just it's up to you guys. You guys need to decide which one. And when, when's the deadline for the for posting of the election? Uh, does it have to be before the general election? Yes. yes. The special yeah. election. Yeah. The special election would have to be in March or April. To meet the proclamation timelines. I would prefer April first. Okay, that would be for the primary. April elections in March. April, the first of April would be good for me. <laughs> but and it is in the of the second September. But, but the project should be uh, decided uh, much earlier, right? Oh yeah. Uh, it, it, um, the, the it has to be advertised 75 days before yeah. the election, correct? Yeah. So we're kind of pushing it. If we uh, were to continue the bond issue at the rate it is, yeah, we would get the 3.8 million. Approximately, over, yes. Over, uh, over how long? Well, we get that 3.8 million right now because the bonds, as soon as the bonds sell, and then we pay off those bonds over the course of the years to come. Um, so, well, the, the existing bond for the judicial complex, I think we went for that bond in 2001, Dennis. I think it's a 15 year bond. And it, and it matures in 2016. So 
if you guys notice during budget time every year, there's a fund in there. We pay about 326,000 every year on that bond. So, and what the GO bond is, is it's a designation from part of your property taxes. So the people are electing to have part of their property taxes go to pay off this bond. So if uh, you had a $3.8 million to spend, could you come up with a um, amount that would go to software uh, to the real department building and to the real department trucks and as, a, as, a, uh, as a guideline? Absolutely. And if we did that, then that would have to be, I guess, on the ballot yes. as well as advertised. We all hear a lot about roads, so I would be very open for that to happen. And, uh, and you would know about the software. We've well, already got quotes on all that stuff because that's, those are things that have been on our wish list for a long time. So I mean, we have an idea, and I can put you guys, if you want, I mean, as far as just something for you to look at and chew on, I can put you a spreadsheet together of the projects and estimates. Concerns uh, about spending uh, money on this uh, special election between eighteen thousand dollars and twenty-seven thousand um, dollars, and we are kind of doing this um, the last minute in a hurry. Um, I don't think we we should do that. I don't think we should have that special election and put uh, that burden uh, on the the clerk before primary election, before a big presidential primary <coughs> election. Why? I can handle it. I understand, but why to do that? And why confuse voters well, also with, with all this? The reason this came up is because years ago, Commissioner Freiberger wanted to look at extending this bond at the same time that it expired, which is the time is now. So we've always known we were going to be crunched with this decision because it has to be in order for the bond to extend the timeliness of it. It has to it has to coincide with when the current bond expires and the new bond takes effect. I don't uh, understand uh, the relevance uh, of your comment, um, Ms. Ansley, because it is uh, now up to this commission uh, to decide. Uh, and uh, the, what I'm That's saying... Right. We need uh, also input from the public. Uh, the projects you uh, described are basically self-centered. Uh, what about to, to spend that we are asking people to support those projects? What uh, about to spend that money um, for the community? As far as self buying new software for the county. Um, I don't even have access to that software, so that's not for me. That's for the elected officials in the county who provide a public service to all 18,000 residents here. So what, that's not for me. What, okay. Asking for improvements to be made to the fairgrounds, uh, that's not for me. Those are requests that you as commissioners have asked for a long time, how can we make those improvements? I, the people have asked how to make those improvements. That's not for me. I, buying equipment for the road department, would be for the roads to be improved for the residents, which is a reflection on you as commissioners. That's not for me. Building a road department, for the road department to get out of the town of Estancia, that's not for me. I don't want my road department away from here, but that would help the town, it would help the sheriff, it would help the road department, and therefore help the citizens. So that's not being self-centered. Those are things that would help the county, and the residents, and the elected officials, and the commissioners. Do we have other sources for, um capital outlay money. Can we ask for capital outlay money for uh, those projects? 